Last year, I made a video about the best translation plugins for WordPress, and it got quite the response from you guys. But this commenter pointed out something I hadn't even considered before. They said, I wish these videos talked about the other costs. With one of these, you only get 2,000 words for free. If you have 200 products and 10 languages, you could spend up to $1,000 a year. But is it really true that you can spend thousands of dollars on translations? Well, that's what I wanted to investigate in this follow-up video. I'll do my best to explain how pricing for translation works in WordPress, but for now, let's just say it's a little complicated. This is because there's more than one way to translate a website. There's automatic methods, which include AI, and then there's manual or human methods. But each of these options is offered at widely different prices by various companies. To simplify things a bit, I'll just be focusing on three major plugins, TranslatePress, WPML, and Weagle. First, I'll break down what they offer for free and then we'll compare their premium plans by using an example of a website with 200,000 words to get a real estimation of their costs. Now, full disclosure, I reached out to the team at Translate Press, who I met at a previous WordCamp, to help me out with making this video. They provided me with way more detailed insights about the business of WordPress translation, and I really appreciate their help with this. Now, I'm also using articles from Weglot and WPML for accurate pricing data. So I want you to know this video is not a paid endorsement, but if you use any of the links below to buy these translation plugins, we will get a small commission. And Translate Press is offering Barnty viewers 15% off at checkout, which I think is pretty awesome. So let's start by analyzing the free plans that these plugins offer. And unfortunately, WPML doesn't even offer a free version, so we'll come back to them in the next section. With the free version of Translate Press, you get unlimited manual translations for one language, so that would mean you might have two languages like English and French, for example. And note that in this case, you will need to fill in the translations yourself or hire someone to do it for you. But there's no limits on this regarding how many words you translate. So what I'm talking about is when you fill in the translation yourself or you hire someone else to do it for you. There's no limit to the number of words you can translate, but they're not doing the translations for you, just to clarify. Then you can also set up automatic translation through the Google Translate API. However, this may incur some direct costs from Google, depending on your usage. The free tier of Google Translate gives you 500,000 translated characters which works out to roughly 100,000 words or so, and that's on a per month basis. If you exceed that limit, you'll need to pay for your usage starting at $20 per 1 million characters over the free limit. Now, comparing that to the free version on Weglot, where you can only translate 2,000 words per month into one language on a single site. They also offer editing control and access to AI translations, but no access to professional translators on their platform. But it does come with visitor language reader directions. So if your second language is French and French people visit your site, it'll automatically take them to the French version of the site, which is nice. And it also comes with multilingual SEO, although I'm sure that the impact of that would be very minimal considering how few words you can actually translate. So bottom line, I think that Translate Press does have the best free plan if you're looking for my opinion. Now let's move on to the premium plans and we'll start off with Translate Press. Now Translate Press has three premium plans which are 99 up to 349 euros per year. And the main difference between these paid plans is the number of sites that you can use your license on. So with all of these premium versions, you're getting unlimited manual translations, unlimited added languages, and with Translate Press AI, you get automatic translation services that work on a credit-based system. You get a certain amount of AI translated words included with every plan. So the lowest plan comes with 50,000 AI translated words, and the developer plan comes with 500,000 AI translated words. And then if you run out of those, then you can purchase more in batches, such as uh, 24 euros for 100,000 or 90 euros for an extra 500,000 words. Alternatively, you can use the DeepL API, which works in a similar way Way to Google Translate. With the free tier of DeepL, this includes 500,000 characters for free per month, which is the same as Google. And if you exceed that limit, you'll need to pay for your extra usage starting at $30.50 per 1 million characters, which are over the free limit. The main downside of using DeepL or Google Translate is the API setup that's involved. It can be rather convoluted and complicated to work out. Whereas Translate Press's own AI, doesn't require any setup as it's already built into the plugin. 
And don't forget that you have to pay as you go with DeepL or Google, and those charges could add up a lot quicker than you're expecting. Whereas with Translate Press, you pay in advance, and then when you run out, you can pay for more. So you know exactly how much you're going to spend ahead of time. All right, now let's move on to Weeglot. And Weeglot has a lot of different pricing tiers. So basically, you're billed a monthly or yearly fee for a certain amount of words to be translated. Now, they also have monthly plans that are a bit more expensive, but since both of the other plugins are billed on a yearly basis, I feel like this is the fairest comparison. Now, the really big thing to emphasize with Weeglot is that they are a classic SaaS company which means that as soon as you stop paying for the service, you lose access to your translations. That means that if you want to maintain the translations on your website for the long term, you also have to keep paying for Weeglot. It's worth noting here that Translate Press lets you own all of your already translated portions of your site. So if you want to update your translations and do new ones, yes, you'll have to keep paying for Translate Press. But what's already on your site, you don't have to keep paying for that forever into the future. So now let's look at WPML. And honestly, they have an even more convoluted way of calculating the cost for automatic translation, which in my opinion, makes it difficult to figure out how much you're gonna spend before you even get started. They have three pricing tiers, but note that the cheapest one doesn't include automatic translations. So those start at 39 euros per year and go up to 199 euros per year with 180,000 automatic translation credits. Then you have to figure out what these credits mean, which is where most people will get totally lost. This is kind of like buying gold coins in a video game. Here's what WPML's credit system means. So they say that they have this currency for automatic translation. One word to translate to each language will cost you two credits with Google or DeepL and one credit with Azure or four credits with WPML AI. So for some reason, it's twice as much as Google or DeepL. Then once you finish the credits included in your plan, you can, of course, buy more. 40,000 credits is 50 euros plus taxes and 200,000 credits is 180 euros plus taxes. They also have the option to pay as you go for credits, which comes at a slightly lower rate. Now let's make a true comparison of all these different pricing structures to see how much it will really cost. Let's say you had a website with 200,000 words on it, just for example. With Weeklot, you would need the pro plan, which includes 200,000 words, and that's priced at 790 euros a year. But as I mentioned, in order to keep those translations up, you're gonna have to keep paying year over year for it. So apart from the initial price, which is already pretty high, you're gonna have to keep paying over and over, which is a huge investment in the long term. Now, comparing to WPML, your cheapest option for translating 200,000 words is getting the multilingual agency plan for 199 euros per year. This gives you 90,000 words translated with Google Translate or DeepL, plus another 110,000 extra words. Now, if you were to buy credits for these words, you'd have to buy two of their packages, which would total 429 euros plus taxes. Or if you pay as you go, then their calculator puts you up another 110 euros. So that would bring your total cost to 309 euros to get your website translated. And it's worth noting that there are other ways to accomplish this with WPML, but they're all more expensive and their own AI is twice the price of this method. With Translate Press plus their own AI, you can pay the $99 yearly plan for one website, and that gives you 50,000 words to get started with, which you can supplement then with an extra 200,000 AI translated words for an extra 40 euros. So that brings your total up to 139 euros and you get to keep those translations for the long haul. Or if you only need one extra language, you can use the free version of Translate Press and connect it to the Google Translate API where you would pay around $20 for 200,000 words to Google directly. This means that if you were to stay under roughly 100,000 words, you might be able to do the entire operation completely for free. So this left me wondering, why is Translate Press honestly so much cheaper than the other options? Are they somehow cutting on the quality of the translations? Well, when I asked them about this, they clarified that the quality of the translations should be the same, but they optimize their costs through the use of translation memory. 
Basically, they're storing sets of words that have already been translated and reapplying them in all the other places where they occur. And this is all stored in your own database. So I hope you found this video informative. I know I learned a lot about the cost of translation. Links to all my sources and the plugins themselves are in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and check out this video next. I think you'll find it interesting. Subscribe for weekly WordPress videos. And of course, thanks for watching.